It's the worst feeling, that moment you realize your smartphone is missing. Panic ensues, and you begin the frantic search around you, lifting sofa cushions and retracing your steps. But wait, did you even bring it in from the Uber? Oh no. Of course, it's bound to happen at some point, when it's a small device you carry with you literally everywhere. But with some models north of $1,500, this would be one pricey thing to lose. And that's not the worst of it, as the cost to replace the hardware itself may be pale in comparison to exposing all your data, including potentially sensitive information about you, or your company, should it fall into the wrong hands. You at least had a lock on the phone, though, right? You sure? And what about those irreplaceable photos and home movies you recently shot on your device, but didn't back up? Those detailed notes you had about a billion dollar idea. Messages with friends and relatives you never deleted, just because. Okay, so don't go into mourning just yet, as there are a few things you can do to retrieve a missing smartphone. Before we cover the various ways to leverage Find My Phone options, your first call to action, after you take a deep breath, of course, is to get to another phone and call your number. Whether you still have a landline or need to ask a friend or neighbor for a phone, dial your number and fingers crossed you hear it ring. If it's on silent, you may still hear it vibrate if on a hard surface. If you have another Apple device, such as an iPad or iPod Touch, you can launch the Find My app, on Apple Watch, it's called Find Devices, or if you don't have another Apple device, Go to any web browser and type in iCloud.com slash find. Now type in your Apple ID, email address, and password. It must be the same Apple ID associated with your missing iPhone. You can also use the Find My app on a device owned by someone in your family sharing group. Click the tab that says Find iPhone. If you have more than one Apple device, select the name of what's missing, like Mark's iPhone, from the drop-down list at the top of the screen. You will now see it on an overhead map, represented by a green dot. If it's been turned off or is offline, or the battery is dead, you will see its last known location. Actually, if you turned on Find My Network, you can see your device's location even if it's not connected to a Wi-Fi or cellular network. This is Apple's encrypted anonymous network of hundreds of millions of Apple devices that can help you locate your device or item. Now you have three choices, play sound, to make it ring loudly, erase iPhone, which deletes all your info, or lost mode, if it's really lost and not on your bathroom counter. When you click lost mode, you'll be prompted to lock your device with a six-digit pin. Then, follow the on-screen steps if you want your contact info to display on your missing iPhone, or if you want to enter a custom message asking the finder to contact you. Select activate. Apple Pay is also disabled for your device, plus any credit or debit cards tied to your iPhone are suspended. In lost mode, you'll also see your iPhone's current location on the map, as well as any changes in its location, and even if location services is turned off on the device, it'll be temporarily turned on to track your device's location. But never try to retrieve a stolen iPhone on your own. It's not worth the risk. Instead, contact the authorities with the information.